So, here we go again. Headed back into the mountains of Sudapatan, chasing the only diamond we don't have in all of the Hunter Call of the Wild, that of course being the Snow Leopard. And if you take a look at our loadout, you may notice we're trying to appeal to the better graces of Snow Leopards today. Maybe we can have some luck, and maybe we can check that final diamond off the list. And we just may be starting off this hunt with a Max Estimate Tibetan Fox. This one's the orange variant. Our diamonds are gray, so we might as well track it down and see what we can find. And we have that zone there, so maybe he's not going to be too far away, but I fully expect this to be a long hunt. I mean, hunting snow leopards generally you just get a couple of them after several hours, so we're going to go for it, and in the meantime, when we stumble into stuff like this, we'll definitely try to take these opportunities too. Eh, what do you know? Getting charged by what looks to be a really big yak. I'm not going to spot it. I think that's a nine, and we're just going to find out. Hopefully, whenever we get a shot, we have no breath right now. That's gotta be a nine. He looks huge. Shot felt pretty good there. No vital blood. So we're gonna need to really get a solid follow-up this time. Try to, like, sidestep him. There we go. That felt a little bit better. That is vital blood. And we're gonna find out if our kind of yak roulette here ends up working out. He's super wide set, like most of the nines. My only concern, we were pretty close to hitting him in the skull. Oh, geez, pretty close to getting killed by him, too, uh, on the first shot. So what do we have? That's actually a mythical. What does he score? 268? Just shy of diamond. Oh, we hit him in the horn the first time. <laughs> Not too bad. All things considered, when we're trying to figure out where this fox went, a nice little bonus kill. And by the way, it is yak drink time. We're just beginning. So hopefully once we find this fox, that's going to be part of the plan as well. As we're looking for snow leopards, kind of hunting around some of the yak lakes and see if we can find anything cool for them. Oh man, unfortunately, just a level 7 for our fox. Bit of a lengthy track all in all, but at least we got him spotted. If we can spot him again. Man, I feel like we're just really struggling on breath today. Maybe we gotta take an extra second to calm down before we take these shots anyway. Second shot found his mark. And I've said many times, like, there's too many cool things out here to just completely ignore and only hunt for snow leopards. Whether it's rare yak, I'd love to find one of them. I mean, we got that melanistic Tibetan fox a while back. A bigger one would be fantastic. We're going to be chasing that kind of stuff too. And so often it is on those hunts for other stuff that we encounter kind of what we're after. I mean, our previous level 9 snow leopard, the troll, we found that right after chasing a gold black fur type tar. So we just kind of hope that it works out as we're chasing this other stuff. And of course, if we find a track, if we get a call, we'll be right after the snow leopards too. Well, we're moving in the right direction. Got a mythical Tibetan fox out here. I think that's the Tawny variant, which would easily be the biggest of that variant we've seen. Now we're gonna get right over here. So make the shot kinda quick. And once again, we get to deal with a yak. And the one good thing is, a little easier to get our shots when we're not just completely out of breath. We actually finally spotted something that wasn't either charging us or running away from us. And at least we're able to drop that guy and it's a really cool variant. Like, down the road eventually, I'd love to get a diamond of that as well. It's just got a really nice color to it. But this, as it's dying running into us, liver and then flesh shot, not exactly our best work shot right under the lungs that time. But just a really cool looking fox. Like I said, a real nice variant. 5.9 mythical, so about 0.47 shy of diamond. It just, like, with the faces they have, that super unique look. That kind of rusty coloration, it suits them really, really well. Long liver stomach on that. Do we have another charging yak? I can hear something out there. Anyway, oh, maybe that? <laughs> Not quite as big as a yak, but maybe that's what I heard moving through the brush. Nonetheless, no luck on Snow Leopard so far. No calls, no tracks, no nothing. Hopefully, that's going to change sooner rather than later. Well, kind of like I talked about. One way to find snow leopards is chasing other stuff. We're tracking a max weight woolly hair, but forget about that thing for now. That snow leopard was like 80, 90 meters out, straight up this hill. Now, getting to a place we're going to see it's going to be one thing. Is he, oh, he's coming this way. I think he's maybe, yeah, he's stalking something. A level six, literally right on top of us. <laughs> that was awesome. What are the odds that would happen? 
I don't have a clue what he was after. Had to be something down there. A caramel level 6 snow leopard shot him at literally 7 meters. Stomach, left lung, intestine just as he paused there. Almost like he was looking at us. Like he realized something was standing there in that clearing. And it was us with a very snow leopard pattern rifle. Maybe it called him in. 7 meter shot. Easily the closest range snow leopard we have had. That was actually really cool. We'll still try to find the, the woolly hair, but I don't know, would, would a snow leopard spook that? That's an old track. There's a just now track here somewhere. Maybe it didn't even go this way? That was pretty lucky then. There's our woolly hair. I can just see it going along the side of the road there. Just a level two. Can't say I'm super surprised at that. But especially, we have a male diamond woolly hair. Because both males and females can make diamond, I'd like at some point to get a female one. Maybe a different fur variant. This would actually be the same as our diamond. 2.98 for that, though. Double lunged it. <laughs> we'll take that from the 22. And we're just going to keep on scooting along here. I was actually heading up here to look for Wild Yak. Produced a couple of pretty cool things there. Well, I can tell you just looking at that, that's a female snow leopard up there with another tiny Tibetan fox. Max weight hasn't been again, but a 7. And that's a level 4 female. I think that's the biggest one we've seen. Kind of a stark contrast to the last. Just spotted out there in the distance. That's actually really cool though. Now she's attentive. I gotta imagine from us. Don't know what else would cause it. But head up, shot, snow leopard down. And that one, once again, is the caramel variant. And that's the reason... I don't know if there's a difference with the snow variant male to female. There probably is something. But I've said many times, the female ones... They have that almost like the tawny red uh, Tibetan fox that was standing right next to her. They've got that rusty coloration. Almost just a reddish undertone to the fur. It's really recognizable. And the other nice thing is, it is 1300. Catching a snow leopard out here in the open feeding is the type of thing that we can have happen this time of day. But I mean, there you go. That kind of reddish coloration on our female caramel. That's a max weight estimate female. Now, what are the odds? I don't know that from any kind of data anywhere, but 45 kilo flat and it being a level 4, I'm basically certain that's as big a female snow leopard as is possible to get. 24.04 scoring silver. I'm almost tempted to tax it, but I don't know what we'd ever do with it. Pretty cool to get. Maybe we'll just screenshot it. So we have that. Pretty cool with the caramel fur as well. We've had one legendary snow leopard any trolls. One max estimate female snow leopard. I wouldn't have guessed that we could get the female as a max weight before we could find a diamond. There is our third snow leopard. I think that's a caramel female as well. Certainly what it looked like. She's alert. The wind's not bad enough to brush this too much. Just in case that would happen to be not what I thought we saw. In any kind of rare. We definitely don't need to just screw up the shot. Rushing it like that. She's gonna just rest right in there. I still feel like I see that kind of like goldish coloration. There we go. That's a little bit better. Stepped out from behind the tree. And our third snow leopard down. Still, I think, all the same fur variation. And no, actually, I don't even think we picked up a snow leopard track yet. It's all been calls and spotting, you know, just out ahead of us. Not our typical snow leopard hunt in any way, shape, or form. Actually, see, this is probably a good reason to have not taken the shot. Not that it was a rare, but it was the snow variant. It is not what we saw. And actually, maybe the snow females have that kind of same thing. More of a, I guess, pinkish coloration as opposed to the reddish color. It'd be interesting to compare side by side, but considering I thought I saw something else, it well could have been leucistic or something. And again, just probably smart to not mess up that shot. I don't imagine we're going to see a lot of rare snow leopards just, you know, ever. So any chance we would get a one, we wouldn't want to ruin it. Just about spooked out when it's alarmed. Another caramel and another female, unfortunately, just ran right up on that thing. Standing there in the open, just like, I wonder, was it resting? Just happened to be in the exact spot where we were headed. I think that's snow leopard number four now. That's a bronze. 21.56, double lung, wait, what? Double lung and liver? I guess what actually happened is that round went way through and it's just showing as if it just stopped cold, like, right at the lungs. Either way, we're finding them, and maybe a little bit of a good sign compared to most of our snow leopard hunts, we're finding them 
standing there, as opposed to spooking. Our level now is the same thing. Pretty much every snow leopard we killed our first, who knows, 20 hunts for him, it would be on the run. A lot of times now we're getting close to him and seeing them before they flee. Well, we were almost five for five on snow leopards not spooking today, but that one saw us just before we got eyes on it. And it's also not offering any shot whatsoever. Maybe a little bit there. It had to be close, but didn't get into a vital one we do know. It's going to bring it down pretty quickly. So the odds that we can save it, not so good. So basically, we were actually stopping down here at this lake to look for Yak and picked up her track. Five snow leopards in one hunt ain't bad, but we might as well go and check this spot. And then, unless we run into something cool here, that snow leopard's probably going to be our last kill. I mean, that's a decent looking mythical but no kind of crazy albinos or even level nines to save this hunt. So one final shot with the 338. Made it down this far, we might as well take him out. Got a decent seven next to him. That is gonna bring him down though. And as we're approaching the four hour mark on this hunt, no luck with snow leopards. And unfortunately, the other big things we had, that mythical yak to charge us at the beginning of the hunt, the mythical Tibetan fox, the other max estimate fox we tracked, nothing led to any kind of trophies today. On the other side of that, five snow leopards probably is our best total for one hunt. And I think only one of them was male. I want to even say it was that first one that we shot at like seven meters. And that was maybe the biggest takeaway. We've been routinely getting really close to them. I think we're getting better at hunting them. It's just finding that one that not only is level nine, because we've done that much. It's finding level nine that is going to be 29 plus and make diamond. But honestly, that initial encounter, that snow leopard running so close made my hunt to begin with, and it was nice to continue to get them as we went along. But then our final snow leopard, number five for the hunt, ends up being the snow variant again, tracked at two kilometers apparently, and unfortunately just got right through the vertebrae. It was actually a decent shot. If we hit lower, it might have just clipped the lung. But as I said, we're getting more snow leopards, we're getting closer to them, and if we could find like a, a trophy Tibetan fox, especially that Tawny variant or something along the way, that would be a fantastic as well. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.